Hello learners, I am Dr. Nidhi Singh, Assistant Professor Geography. Today we are going to learn about evolution of landforms due to internal forces. Now we see lots of uh, variety of landforms on the earth's surface, plains, plateaus, uh, hills, trenches etc. So there is a relationship between the rock types and the shape of landforms. The kind of rocks that are present on the earth's surface uh, determine the kind of landforms that are generated out of it. And there is deformation of uh, on the earth's surface due to continuous influence of internal as well as external forces. In the earlier sessions we have uh, studied about, we learnt about internal as well as external forces acting upon the earth's surface. So today again we will be dealing with it in detail. So today we are going to learn about the endogenetic forces, different types of forces and how they affect the landforms. Now in precisely today we will be learning about endogenetic forces uh, that transform landforms, then types of endogenetic forces, folds, faults, volcano, earthquake etc. So first of all what are endogenetic forces? These forces generate as we all know from internal of the earth surface. The two forces acting on the earth surface that is endogenetic as well as exogenetic, they work simultaneously and continuously. So uh, as soon as some force starts, it is not necessary that once it will stop and then again then the second one will st start, but they work simultaneously many a times. So forces working inside the earth are known as earth movements and they are also known as tectonic movements because they generate because of movement of the earth surface, I mean the plates. So the tectonic, uh, tectonic movement results in the movement of earth surface and these are the internal forces that we know. We have learned uh, in detail about tectonic movements in the earlier sessions. Now tectonic as we know is derived from the Greek word tecton which means builders, earth movements are constructional in nature and they are responsible for building different types of landforms. Some of the examples of endogenetic forces and the resultant landforms are submergence of forest in Bombay Harbour, second is Mahabali Puram temple was uh, which is now standing on the sea, uh, then changes in ground level in runoff Kutch of Gujarat. So these are some of the examples of forces that generate I mean different landforms that are examples of endogenetic forces. Now what are the types of endogenetic forces? There are two main types of endogenetic forces, one is slow movement and another is sudden movement. So as the name suggests slow movement act very slowly and sudden movements act very fast, suddenly they uh, act. So first of all slow movement, it brings changes on earth's crust very slowly. It takes hundreds of thousands of years to act and it covers a period of much longer time span than a human lifespan. So it acts uh, on earth surface either vertically or horizontally. The second type of uh, forces are sudden movements. So these bring abrupt changes, sudden changes on the earth's crust and the examples of such movements are volcanic eruptions and earthquakes lava flow, landslides, all these are sudden movements that take place on the earth's surface. Now slow movements are again of two types, vertical movements and horizontal movement. Vertical movement is again of two types, upliftment and subsidence. So now we will be dealing with vertical movement that is a type of slow movement. It originates from earth's center, there is large scale upliftment or subsidence upliftment means that the earth surface rises or subsidence means it subsides down, it goes down. So it, uh, it is large scale upliftment or subsidence of part of earth's surface. It is slow and widespread and there is no change in horizontal rock strata. Now vertical movements are associated with formation of continents and plateaus. So they are also known as continent building or plateau building movements. These are also known as epirogenetic movements. Epiros in Greek means continent. And there are two types of vertical movements, one is upliftment and subsidence. Evidence of uplift, upliftment are sedimentary rocks deposited and formed in oceans and seas. Then presence of these rocks is widespread in continents. Evidences of submergence is submerged buildings, rivers, valleys 
and cities etc submerged ancient buildings in mediterranean in great island and ancient city of dwarka or saurashtra in india these are some of the examples of submergence now second is horizontal movement it causes lots of disruption in horizontal strata it involves lots of compression and tension of pre existing rocks it acts horizontally or tangentially to earth's spherical surface there are two types of horizontal movement one is forces of compression and another is forces of tension now forces of compression what are forces of compression it is pushing of rock strata against a hard plane so the rock strata is compressed it comes together and it gets compressed crumpled uh, uh, this uh, this happens from one side or from both the sides it results in bending of rock layers formation of fold mountains are the example of uh, forces of compression resultant of forces of compression so for example if you see this piece of cloth when forces applied from both the sides towards each other this is known as forces of compression and what happens fold has taken place so in this manner suppose this is a rock strata suppose this piece of cloth is a rock strata and force of forces of compression is be, uh, being act uh, is acting on it so what happens it is compressed and the rock strata is getting folded so in this manner when the large very huge um, area very large vast area is compressed in this manner so folded mountains are formed himalayan is an exa example of such uh, fold mountain what is exactly folding the process of bending warping and twisting of rock strata is known as folding i'll repeat it for your uh, ease process of bending warping and twisting of rock strata is known as folding the resultant landform out of it is fold it is a wave like structure uh, with up folds and down folds the up fold this suppose this is the fold so this is the up fold and this is the down fold so this is known as uh, anticline and this is known as syncline the downward portion himalayas rockies uh, andes alps and all uh, etc are some of the examples of uh, mountains found formed out of this process it is uh, it helps in mountain building process and therefore it is also known as orogenetic movement this is the example of fold as you can see in the picture these are anticlines and synclines this is the fold a wave like structure now forces of tension we have now earlier we uh, learnt about forces of compression this is forces of tension when these forces work horizontally in opposite direction so when the force acts horizontally in opposite direction i mean pulls so that is known as tension like a rubber band when we stretch a rubber band what happens uh, apart from each other i mean in different direction the tension is created so in this in on the earth surface also when forces are acting opposite to each other then tension a force of tension is created intense tensional force result in rock stri breaking of rock strata or which uh, which results in fracturing and they so the cracks and fractures develop there is displacement of rock upward or downward from original position also and uh, along this such uh, along this fracture and this is known as faulting so the fault is a line along which displacement of fractured rock strata takes place this is known as fault line and the plane along which displacement of rock strata takes place is called fault plane the line along which displacement takes place is known as fault line and the plane along which the displacement is take takes place is known as fault plane as you can see in the uh, diagram uh, the red line which is marked is the fault line along which displacement occurs so uh, the upper side is upper portion is the up thrown side which which is thrown upwards and uh, the second one is the down thrown side which which goes down and there is a uh, fault line fault plane is there and this is the example of a fault and different related features of fault now another uh, thing that happens is a volcano different types of landforms a different type of uh, processes that occur uh, due to this folding faulting and fracturing is volcano 
Volcano is a vent or an opening in earth's surface uh, through which molten rock material, rock fragments, ash, steam, gases and other hot gas etc come out. These can be slowly or forcefully or violently. This is an example of volcano we must have seen uh, you must have seen it in the pictures or movies or somewhere else in photographs etc. So when magma we have discussed earlier also that when magma comes out uh, comes out it is known as lava. So when it is it's, it's inside the earth surface it's mold the molten material when it's, it's inside the earth surface it's called magma when it comes out of the earth surface it's called lava. So magma is coming out and uh, in the form of lava and there is a crater a funnel shaped uh, feature is uh, created and that is known as crater and when it it's get deposited outside it forms a cone so this is an example of simple volcano commonly found volcano now from where does this molten material comes out it comes out from hot interior of the earth uh, vent occurs in earth's crust and rocks where wherever rock strata is weaker a vent, vent means opening. So, wherever there is a, a weakness or weak rock strata, a, a opening, an opening or vent is created and from there the molten material comes out. Uh, you must be thinking why such eruption takes place. What happens that extreme heat and pressure is created inside the earth surface. So, what happens because of that the molten material or the magma gets pushed, it, it tries to come out because of the intense heat and pressure. So, what happens where, wherever there is a line of weakness, the molten material escapes from the earth surface through uh, that line of weakness. Now, tremendous force uh, of magma or gases is there which comes out from the hole in the earth's crust and magma comes out. So, the process by which solid, liquid and gaseous materials escape from the earth's interior is known as volcanism. So, the process of, hap, uh, process of um, eruption of volcano is known as, known as volcanism. In simple language, the process by which volcanoes takes place is known as volcanism. What are the different features a volcano has? There is a pipe through which the uh, magma comes out. Then there is a cone that is formed when the magma, hot gases, ash etc come out, a cone is formed. And then crater that is a funnel shaped depression at the top of the cone. So at the top of the cone there is a funnel shaped depression and this is known as crater. So there is a pipe, there is a crater and there is a cone that is formed. This is the basic feature of a volcano. There are different types of volcanoes. So on the basis of frequency of eruption, the how often a uh, volcano uh, erupts, uh, it is of three types, one is active volcano, second is dormant volcano and then third is extinct volcano. Active volcano is the one which erupts frequently or has erupted recently or are in action currently. Example of uh, these volcanoes are Stromboli, Krakatoa, Mayon, Mauna Loa and Barren Island. Barren Island is located in India that is in Andaman Nicobar Islands. So, the, these are the examples of active volcano that have been erupting frequently or has erupted uh, recently or still uh, uh, in action there in its eruption is taking place right now. The second type of volcano is dormant volcano which have not erupted in recent times. It is also known as sleeping volcanoes. An example is Vesuvius and Cotopaxi. The third type of volcano is extinct volcano which have not been erupted in historical times and the example is uh, Mount Popa and Mount Kilimanjaro. Now on, uh, this was on the basis of frequency of occurrence. Now the second type is on the basis of mode of occurrence. So according to this mode of occurrence there is central type and the second is fissure type. Now central type of volcano eruption takes place from a vent or a hole. Different types of domes, conical hills etc are formed depending on nature of erupted material. The majority of volcanic eruptions in the world is of this type that is central type and violent explosions also take place when the, there is sudden escape of gases and molten rocks through this hole. Example of such type of eruption is Vesuvius and Fujiyama. 
you can see the example in the picture you can see the central type it is violently uh, erupting. Now the second is fissure type here if there is a crack or a elongated uh, deep crack so what happens magma comes out slowly not violently it flows out of the this fissures or cracks. So it developed due, uh, gets developed due to earthquakes or faulting also formation of thick horizontal sheets of lava or low dome shaped volcano uh, is uh, landform such type of landform takes place that means a sheet of uh, uh, lava flow a sheet is uh, created uh, horizontally or a, a low dome shaped volcano can be seen I mean uh, landform can be seen it also forms lava plateaus and lava shields example is deck and trap of India. Now this is an example of fissure eruption you can see long elongated cracks and lava is coming hot gases is coming out of it it is not violently coming out. Now another type of classification is on the basis of fluidity of lava the how fluid the lava is uh, depending upon this one is volcanoes of basic type and second is volcanoes of acidic type. Basic lava volcano are formed of basic lava and it is rich in metallic minerals it has low melting point it has great, greater fluidity that means it flows very fast so lava flows far and wide uh, quietly with greater speed then it spreads out in thin sheets over a large area there is a formation of shield and lava domes example uh, examples are shield volcano of hawaiian island in the pacific ocean now uh, in the picture you can see the fissure eruption of and formation of shield it is flowing uh, the lava is flowing and it is gets getting solidified so shield or sheet is formed. Now the second type is acidic lava volcano which is formed of acidic lava. Acidic lava is rich in silica it has higher melting point it is highly viscous and solidifies quickly so higher land features with steeper slopes is formed the difference between acidic and basic lava volcano cones can be seen in the diagram first one is a lower height of landforms and second is higher now distribution of volcanoes how in what manner and where these the volcanoes are distributed on the earth surface in the earlier sessions also we discussed about it in a um, uh, brief like ring of fire and all those things so we'll be dealing with it uh, again in this session again so there are, are almost 500 volcanoes in the world and they are mostly found in three important belts one is the circum pacific belt that is also known as ring of fire which is located around the pacific ocean and the second is the mid world mountain belt and the third is african rift valley belt so these three are the main important uh, zones where volcanoes occur on the earth surface volcanoes are closely related to regions of intense folding and faulting now in the uh, picture you can see the distribution of volcano so uh, around the pacific ocean there is a ring of fire that is uh, shown the whole series i mean in a ring circular form uh, there is occurrence of uh, volcano so these uh, red dots can you can see is, is a uh, volcanic uh, places from where volcanoes take uh, happen or uh, volcanoes erupt and it, it forms a ring kind of thing so this is that and then another is the mid world mountain range which is which is found around the uh, mountain ranges of the uh, continents internal of the internal side of the continents and then there is african rift valley belt that is found in African Rift Valley area. Again, we will be discussing about the um, distribution of volcanoes in detail. So, it occurs along coastal mountain ranges within, in fact, within the uh, larger area, it occurs along coastal mountain ranges uh, on the islands and in mid oceans. So, these are the further categorization of the location of volcanoes where they are formed. So, they are, they are uh, found along coastal mountain ranges on islands and in mid oceans interior part of continents are generally free of volcanoes most active volcanoes are found in the pacific region because the ring of fire is also located there 
83 active volcanoes are found in Mediterranean region. Now another uh, process or another in, uh, thing that uh, happens on the earth surface apart from volcano, a volcanic eruption is earthquake. What is earthquake? We all must have felt some or the other time we must have felt a vibration in the earth surface on the ground. So that is known as earth, earthquake. Earthquake is a motion of ground surface. It ranges from faint tremors, very light tremors, very light shaking of ground to wild motions, very strong shaking on the ground of ground. Uh, it, the form of energy of wave motion is transmitted through surface of the earth. Earthquakes vary in intensity that means they can be very mild or they can be very strong. Dozens of earthquakes occur every day on the earth surface, very mild, we might not feel it many a times. So dozens of them occur uh, every day, but severe earthquakes happens or takes place in few regions. Instrument used for recording earthquakes are known as seismograph. In the picture, you can see a seismograph and how the uh, recording is being done. The needle, uh, 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 I mean the needle writes, I mean ink is there and it forms um, a wave kind of pattern and this is the measurement of earthquake. So how intense the earth, uh, earthquake is taking place. So the variation is uh, accordingly. So it's a seismograph and how the seism uh, with seismograph earthquake gets recorded. Now the point within uh, inside the earth surface uh, from where earthquake originates it's called focus. So it, it is the focus is the point from where earthquake originates and this is located inside the earth surface. It is also called seismic focus. So seismic me means related to uh, earthquake. It's also known as seismic focus. It lies, the seismic focus or the focus lies almost 60 kilometers beneath the earth's crust. The point vertically above the focus is known as epicenter and this is located on the earth's surface. Focus is located inside the earth's surface and the point vertically above the focus but located on the earth's surface is called epicenter. You can see in the picture focus which is located inside the earth surface and the vertical point vertically above the focus on the earth surface is epicenter. Earthquake waves originate from focus, they travel in all directions. The intensity is highest at the epicenter that is on the earth surface uh, vertically above the focus. So maximum destruction also takes place at and around the epicenter. What are the causes of earthquake? The most important cause of earthquake is folding, faulting and displacement of rock strata. Examples, San Francisco earthquake that, were, that, caused, that was caused in California, Assam earthquake that was caused in India and Bihar earthquake that took place in India in 1935. Now another cause of earthquake is volcanic eruption. Violent volcanic eruptions result in vibrations but are limited to areas of volcanic activity only. Example is earthquake con continued for 6 days post eruption of Mauna Loa volcano in Hawaii island in 1868. Now, another cause of earthquake is uh, landslide, collapse of cavern uh, or cave or underground mines and tunnel. So these, uh, th sub these are the factors that cause minor earthquakes. Now effects of earthquakes are violent earthquakes uh, result in very uh, can be very disastrous and uh, they cause landslide, damming of river course, floods, depression leading to formation of lakes, cracks and fissures in earth's crust, changes in the direct drainage system. Other effects are displacement of rock strata vertically and horizontally along fault line, fire also takes place at times, seismic sea waves. Uh, take place uh, or seismic sea waves originate and they are known as tsunamis. They originate in sea and we have uh, heard about and we saw seismic uh, activities in the sea, uh, sea and tsunamis uh, in India also. So distribution of earthquake, phenomena of almost every part of the world. So it takes place uh, in different parts of the world and two important belts that are uh, 
uh, that can be ident identified where it is most frequent. It is circumpacific belt and the mid world mountain ridge similar to that of uh, uh, occurrence of volcanoes. So, this is the uh, picture where you can see map uh, again the it coincides with the place where volcanic eruptions takes place. So, in this session learners we learnt about evolution of landforms with the help of endogenetic forces, then types of such forces, endogenetic forces slow, sudden, vertical, horizontal etc. and then fold, fault, volcanoes, earthquakes etc. I hope you must have understood it and will be dealing with some other topic in the next session. Thank you.